Okay, good afternoon everyone. So I guess in last class we studied about what is climate, what is weather, right? What's the difference between climate and weather? What are the parameters in which climate is decided, right? And then we studied about different regions, right? We started different regions. Okay, so I guess we talked about polar region. Yes, adaptation of polar bear and polar regions. So can anyone tell me what is what what which area right is your polar region tell me which part of earth is termed as polar region yes very good right it's north pole the areas right areas around north north pole and south pole yes antarctica and arctica right north pole and south pole got it very good and what are the characteristics of those areas what are the characteristics of polar region? Tell me, is it hot and humid or dry and cold? Tell me. Yes, very good, right? It is cold and dry. So I guess everyone, everyone understood those things. Tell me, everyone understood those things. Okay, now. When we talk about regions, when we talk about regions, right, our earth is divided into different parts, okay, depending on the temperature and the weather conditions. So the first that we studied was polar region, okay. Got it? The first that we studied is polar region. Now, when we talk about polar region, it is the region along the poles of the earth, which is usually cold and dry. What kind of animal lives in polar region, right? The animals, right, such as other birds, such as penguin and polar bear, okay? So we study that, that, what is adaptation? What is adaptation? Tell me anyone, if I ask you, what is adaptation? Tell me anyone, what is adaptation? Yes, exactly, right? So adaptation generally means suiting oneself or changing oneself, right? To sustain in the surrounding areas. Okay, got it? Right? So basically it is the act or process of adapting in the given conditions, right? Or you can just say that it is a process of change. It's a process of change, right? By which an organism or a species become better suited to its environment, right? Right, everyone? Okay. So what are the adaptations of polar bear? We have studied the adaptation of polar bear, right? We studied uh, the different... Uh, yeah, yes, yes, right? We studied that how polar bear adapt themselves, how they have thick fur, right? Which keeps them warm, how they have uh, white feet, which can help them walk on the ice as well as uh, help them swim, right? They have long sharp claws, right? Thick fat under the skin, which makes them warm, right? They have strong sense of smell, which makes them hunt their prey, right? And the white fur not only make, yeah, the white fur not only make them, right, kind of uh, in, invisible, which means in ice, it is, it is difficult to see the polar bears, right? Okay? Right. And then they have, yes. Now, Apart from polar bear, what all are the organisms, right? What other mammals we, we have studied? Yes, they camouflage. Yes, Tavisha, very good. Penguins, right? So penguins, right? So I can say that penguins are also good swimmer, right? They also stay in cold areas. Yes. So what do we know about penguins? So I can say that penguins are good swimmer because they have large feet as compared to other birds, right? Second, if you see the penguin, if you see the penguin, their body is streamlined, right? 
because we know that penguins are fast swimmers right because they have streamlined body okay streamlined like arrow okay streamlined body right so i can say that i can say that penguins are also good good swimmer they have streamlined bodies and they have webbed feet right they have webbed feet which will help them right yes very good which will help them to swim easily okay right now there are other animals also like the like musk ox skin reindeer foxes seal whales all of them have thick layer of fat in them yes or no right everyone yes or no yes right so if you talk about the general characteristic of animals or birds yes llama llama right which lives in cold areas so they should have either fur right or they should have thick layer of fat right underneath underneath their skin which can keep them warm right everyone that is the condition now can you think can you think that an animal or any bird or anything can survive without any insulation tell me can we survive no right yes okay so i can say that if i ask you what is the condition to survive in cold areas right so they should have either fur or either for or thick layer of fat to insulate themselves from the cold right okay yes everyone now tell me how many of you know about migration tell me how many of you know about migration what is the meaning of migration right just think about right what is the meaning of migration anyone going from one place to another place right this is what we mean in english we studied migration as going from one place to another place right now yes exactly right now some some animals right or some birds migrate due to change in weather right or due to some other conditions for example some other reasons for example some boats migrate to lay eggs right some boats migrate from one area one area to another area because of weather change right some animals migrate for the search of food and water okay yes exactly due to change in season now i hope all of you know about the bird sanctuaries right uh, all of you know about the bird sanctuaries yes right so when you talk about bird sanctuaries so most of the bird in bird sanctuaries they migrate from one place to another place okay so first question which will be asked is what is migration so migration is shifting right of birds and animals right due to changing climatic conditions or because of any other need right okay so when you talk about this when you talk about uh, uh, any bird right for example uh, some birds like uh, yeah that's what we explained now are right polar bear can survive in cold region because they have the insulation from the cold due to thick fur and fat layer of sorry and thick layer of fur underneath their skin right we studied this in last class only okay right everyone see when you talk about see just think about camel okay just think about camel can camel survive right when you talk about and or talk about camel right if we talk about the animals which have adapted themselves right if we have adapted themselves in that condition it will be difficult to change right everyone for example 
people who stay in Bellary, they are adapted to stay in hot climate. Yes or no? Tell me, right? Means you're not bothered much when if it's hot, right? Like 30 degree and 35 degrees, normal for guys who uh, live in Bellary, right, everyone? Tell me, yes or no? Right? But if we talk about, which I'll answer your question, right? But if you talk about people who live in like uh, Jammu and Kashmir, like that, that, right? Do you think that what is the normal temperature that they have? They have normal temperature like 15 degrees centigrade, 12 degrees centigrade, like that, right? So they have adapted themselves, okay, right? They have adapted themselves in cold condition. So obviously, if those people and the people who live in Rajasthan, they also have the normal temperature like 37, 38 degrees centigrade. Now, just tell me, right? Don't you feel that if you go to Leh Ladakh, you will feel cold, right? You have to wear lots and lots of clothes. Can you survive? For example, here, do you need to wear a sweater? Tell me. Do you need to wear a sweater in Balari ever? Right? Because I remember like I'm staying in Balari for like so much time, but I never wear a sweater because even in winters, the temperature doesn't go down much. Right? Even in, see, this is all, almost October. Okay, even in November, December, the temperature won't go down that much. But if you talk about Delhi, right, or any north uh, states, right, be it Madhya Pradesh or Jammu and Kashmir, okay, the temperature will be very less. Yes or no? Yes, right? So can you survive? Can you stay in December without sweater? Tell me. No, right? So obviously we are not adapted to that, okay? And people who live there, right? They they have been adapted according to that climate, right? Even though they wear sweater, they don't feel as cold as uh, we feel, right? We will feel yes or no. For example, right? When you talk about Russian countries or when you talk about any other cold countries, obviously it doesn't mean that they won't wear sweater, right? They'll just roam around like this. It doesn't mean like that, but they have adapted themselves. They won't get sick, right? As uh, like uh, easily as we will, okay, right? They have changed their food habits. When you talk about uh, this uh, countries like Russia or any cold countries, they have more consumption of meat, right? I hope all of you know that, right? But we, we, we are mostly vegetarians. So there are many things with changes, okay? Right, everyone? Now, yeah, we will talk about migration. So many birds, many birds, right? So they basically migrate. So what is bird migration? So you can say that bird migration is the regular seasonal movement, right? Is a seasonal movement of birds from one place to other place, right? Mainly for breeding, right? Got it? Got it, everyone? Now, what are the examples? There are many examples, right? For example, gray owl, gray owl, right? Woodpeckers, some woodpeckers. Okay, so you have to remember, obviously you don't have to remember all the examples, right? Now, if you see, I was, I was talking about the bird sanctuary, right? So if you talk about the bird sanctuary, so we have a Bharatpur bird sanctuary in Rajasthan. Okay, so see, we have a Bharatpur and we have many bird sanctuaries. I'm just talking about one which is mentioned in your textbook, okay? So when you talk about bird sanctuaries, normally most of the bird from the cold region, okay, right? They migrate, right? They migrate to different places, especially some places which is, uh, suitable for their breeding, okay? So that's one destination in India, which is Bharatpur Sanctuary. So I can say that Bharatpur Sanctuary in Rajasthan, as well as Sultanpur in Haryana, right? And there are other world sanctuaries also, okay? So the bird migrate from like cold region, like Siberian crane from Siberia, okay? They migrate from that place and come to these places for breeding and for wintering, right? To just stay for a couple of months, Right, and then they will go back. Yes, Arav, I, I see, I might not know the name of every bird, okay? My voice is low, 
everyone, my voice is low. Tell me, I don't think that my voice should be low. Trisha, my voice is fine, okay, right? Okay, very good. So I'll send you a video on bird migration, how birds migrate and all. It's an interesting video. I'll send it to your WhatsApp group. Okay, everyone? Okay, now this is your first region. Now, when you talk about second region, right? When you talk about second region, wait, I'll just show you, okay, right? Wait, everyone. My dog is, I don't know why my dog is. So, yeah. So, if you see the screen, right? If you see the screen, this is the map, right? Map of Earth, right? So, basically, it's like a globe. Okay. Now, if you see this, right? If you see this, there are different regions. If you see the lines, if you see the lines, we have different lines. Now, I hope that the Earth, right? Basically, the map went out of the Earth, right? So, we have different lines to locate the position of right different places on earth right they are called as lot la this latitude and longitude right everyone they are called as longitude and latitude for example if you see this if you just see the screen we have two type of lines one is this vertical lines right vertical lines and one are horizontal lines yes or no right so they are called as latitude and longitude okay now when we talk about some important lines, some important lines. So the first line is this line, which is like a diameter. Okay, the line which is like a diameter. Okay, that line is called as equator. Right, everyone? That line is called as equator. Yes, very good, right? So first, we will talk about different lines. So this is your equator, right? This line is your equator. Okay, I'll just change it. Yeah, this line is the equator. Now, after this, if you talk about the other line, so we have two dotted lines, this line, right? These are basically your, yes. So they're called as Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, right, everyone? I hope all of you remember this, right? Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Now, what do you think? Just think logically, right? What do you think? Now, equator, right? At equator, the temperature is high or low? Tell me, the temperature is high or low? The temperature is high, okay? Because this is the region of, right? This is the region which is closest to sun, okay? So this is called as equatorial region. This is called as equatorial region, okay? Okay. So the region around equator is called as equatorial region. Okay, everyone, right? And at equatorial region, the temperature is generally high because it is close to sun. Okay, now as we move, so obviously if we move from this, in this direction or this direction, right, it is same, so don't worry. Okay, so as we move away from the equator, the temperature will decrease, yes or no? Yes or no, right? So basically, basically we'll study the four different regions, right? The first region, which is along the pole, right? It is also called as frigid zone or polar region. Right, everyone? Okay. Got it? So if this is the line, this is line. After this, we have a polar region, which is Arctic circle or Antarctic circle. Okay, right? So beyond this, Blue line beyond this blue line we have which region beyond this blue line we have polar region polar region wait everyone okay yes yes turtle turtle also migrate yes so polar region okay polar region now you see this right you see between this blue line and red line okay so between this arctic circle and this tropic of cancer okay now, what do you think? This region, this region would be kind of moist, right? Temperature. Kind of moist. 
frigid zone is after this na frigid zone is after this right so this region right this region is basically your tell me which region just think about it which region it might be temperate region temperate talk about uh, this uh, tropical subtropical equatorial and polar that's all that's all i'm talking about okay because obviously there are my regions okay right so subtropical yes temperate zone okay yeah subtropical yes right because there are subtropics tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn subtropics now tell me if we talk about the temperature change the temperature must be highest along the equator yes or no right right so along the equator right it is your equatorial region now this region this region usually this region which is basically in uh, pink i guess right it is your tropical region right so i can say that most of the people in the asia and this tell me north america and some part of south america right and australia they are in which region tell me tropical region yes okay so let's see right i'll just write it down i'll just wait everyone i'll just write it down all the Regions, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm recording now. Step by step. Now, first temperature. Tell me, first temperature. Low or high? Low or high? Yes, very good. High average temperature. High average temperature. high average temperature average temperature i'm talking about okay na second rainfall tell me rainfall tell me yes very good so i can say that that high amount of rainfall or large amount of rainfall high rainfall right this is how you should write high rainfall i guess all of you have studied this already in sixth class class sixth right different regions have you tell me okay so some are saying yes some are saying no okay you know what is the average temperature okay so now when you talk about the areas right areas or biomes you can say right areas or biomes so biomes are basically the areas right climatic areas are called as biomes okay yes in social obviously in social you have studied so areas include what rainforest okay rainforest and savannas which are like swamps and all right everyone got it now since it is the temperature this is now in india in india which region which region falls under uh, this tropical zone tell me tell me what do you think
North India or South India? Mangroves, yes. South India, yes. Right, very good feature. South India, right? So South India falls under, yes. Swamp is not a biome, right? Swamp is like a, just an ecosystem, okay? Right, mangroves are also kind of rainforest, okay? Coastal regions, yes. Okay, got it. So this is about tropical region. Now, after this, right, we have studied already temperate region, right, then polar region, and then dry region. Okay, right. So let's see about tropical rainforest. I hope all have understood what is tropical region now, then tropical rainforest. So basically tropical rainforest, okay, is kind of biome in tropical region. Wait, everyone. Okay, so yeah, so we talk about the tropical rainforest. So first thing, the tropical rainforest lie in tropical region, okay, that we have studied. Now, tropical region, we have studied the characteristics of tropical region, which is generally hot and humid, yes or no? Right? Hot and humid. It, it's recording, it's recording, don't worry, it's recording. It is only hot and humid and location as I, I, as I showed you, right? If you see this, this region is the tropical region. So this region is the nearest to the equator, yes or no? Right? Okay. Yes, very good. So we talk about rain. So why there is more rain in tropical region? So we know that when temperature is more, when temperature is high, okay, temperature is high, water evaporates easily, yes or no? Yes or no, right? Now, what is rain? Basically, when temperature is high, rate of evaporation is high, the water evaporates and form clouds. Right, everyone? Right, they form clouds. Now, when they come to colder region, for example, just think about it, just see this figure, right? So, the air, the air around this region, right? The air around this region, equatorial region, is very hot, tell me, right? Is very hot? Yes or no? So, this is your equatorial, equatorial region. So, when you talk about this region, right? The water in this region will have high evaporation rate. They will evaporate. Okay. Now, for just talk about India, right? So we have Indian Ocean. Okay. Right. So the water which will evaporate, right, from Indian Ocean. Now, when they move toward the polar regions, they get cold. Yes or no? Tell me. Because temperature is decreasing. So as they move away from the equator, the temperature starts decreasing. Now, if temperature will decrease, obviously it will start condensing, yes or no? It will try to convert back into water, right? Now that is actually your rain, yes or no? Tell me everyone, that is actually your rain. When the water vapor, right, which is in the form of cloud, when they condense and then fall down, they are rain, that's it. So I hope all of you understood the mechanism. Yes? Got it? So if I ask, if I ask, if someone asks you why there's more rain, why there's more rain in South India, right? As compared to North India, right? So, or from which region? See, when talk about South India, right? So South India, so basically air or rain can come from both sides, like Indian Ocean as well as Bay of Bengal, right everyone? So these are the coastal regions. So these regions will have more rain, yes or no, right? Got it? As well as these regions. Got it? Now, there's one thing which you should remember, right? If you if you follow the news, now in recent time, there's lots and lots of news of flood and all those things. Right, everyone? How many of you like hear news that there's flood like every time? Now the flood, the reason of flood. Like there are many reasons of flood, right? So basic reason, the basic reason of flood might be, obviously it is because of heavy rainfall. Yes or no, because of heavy rainfall, right? So be it, see this is 
region of Assam or coastal regions, right? Or this regions, okay. Now, when you talk about flood, mostly is because of heavy rainfall. And second is because of this random change in this uh, landscape. For example, right, we are cutting trees at an enormous rate. How many of you know this, that in India, the rate of cutting trees is very high, right? So when you talk about like 20 years before or uh, 50 years before, okay, right? There are many trees in India or around the world, there were many trees, okay? So even though we have lots of rains, right? The trees helps the soil erosion, okay? They check the rainfall, they check the uh, flow of water, right, everyone? Now just think about this, so just think about this, right? Suppose, suppose you have a, like a field of grass and second, you don't have a field of grass, you just have a, uh, like a normal field. In which case, right, in which case you will uh, like feel more water, right, on the ground. Tell me, when there's grass or when there's not grass? Think about it, right, obviously grass, right? So when there's grass, it grass will try to absorb or not absorb, right, it will try to right, relocate the water. There's no soil erosion, right, everyone? There's no soil erosion as such. Okay, now how many of you know about Sundarbans? Tell me, how many of you know about Sundarban, Sundarban Delta? It is a delta, right? Where fresh water meets sea water, right? Sundarban Delta, everyone, yes, very good, right? So it is somewhere in West Bengal, see somewhere in this region. Now, right, see Sundarban Delta, right, is basically famous for its mangroves mangroves. It's also rainforest, right everyone? Right? But around, yeah, but because of this deforestation, that Sundarban Delta, right, is getting eroded, okay? Because of this deforestation, many like uh, for development work or for anything, right? There are lots of deforestation, okay? okay. So that is the reason, that is the reason there is frequent rainfalls, frequent uh, flood, okay? So, so we should actually try to plant as many trees as possible, okay? So this was about tropical rainforest. So what is the tropical rainforest, right? So the in India, Western Ghats and Assam, right? And Southeast Asia, Central America, Central Africa, they all are tropical regions. Right, everyone? I've shown you the map. I hope everyone will rem remember the areas from the map, right? Tell me, Sri Lanka falls in which region? Tell me, Sri Lanka falls in which region? Tell me, tropical region, right? Yes. Okay, very good everyone, right? See, Capricorn, Capricorn is a line, okay? Just a line, okay? Okay, everyone, okay. So this was about tropical region. What kind of animals live in tropical region? So animals like monkey, apes, gorilla, right? Tiger, elephant, like basically whatever the uh, most of the animals found in India, right? Because half of the, right? Yes, half of the places of India falls in a tropical region, right? So most of the animal that you can see, right? They all falls under tropical region, as simple as that, okay? Right? Frog is found everywhere, okay? Can you find, can you find the, like tigers and lions in desert, tell me, right? Is it, is it 
very common to find tigers and lions and elephants in desert no na right so it's like this okay so you cannot say that okay there won't be any tiger right there might be some kind of tiger but mostly they are not found in desert or in uh, colder colder areas right except for siberian tiger which is not found nowadays right which is already extinct extinct right okay so yeah so when you talk about adaptation so i can say that the animals which live in tropical areas have adapted to hot and humid climate yes or no they have adapted to hot and humid climate okay right as compared to the animals which live in polar areas so what do you think the fat right should they have thick layer of fat beneath their skin tell me should they have fat layer of skin beneath their no na ragni right right okay yes very good okay so basically these these animals live in large groups right and because of that there is a need of more food and shelter right now what is the side effect of deforestation if i talk about the side effect of deforestation what do you think what impact does deforestation will have on the adaptation or on the like life of these animals tell me what do you think okay oxygen will be less that's the least thing least worry like least issues to worry about yes very good ragni right yes shravya so the major issue is most of the animals lose their habitat right most of the animals lose their habitat right okay second second reason is the food chain right the food is less for the animals okay now i hope all of you have heard that there was cheetah around with another before some months right yes or no tell me yes or no or you have seen monkeys roaming around here they after you like just be uh, on the trees near your home right right now what do you think today's news only right there is cheetah today also now just think about you know just think about it that whole region was a forest right everyone right whole region was a forest now obviously it is industrialized uh, we have set up industries people have like started living there right so what do you think where these animals will go right there is no water source nearby during summer so obviously they will migrate right they will migrate in the search of food and water right yes that's why they are in like almost extinct okay arav right okay so yes so this is the thing right since the tropical region provide lots of uh, like normally i'm just talking in general sense right tropical region have lots of forest okay they have large variety of food okay different kind of animals that's why it is packed with different kind of animals for example the food chain is quite vast in tropical regions okay right got it yes now can you find a monkey can you find a monkey in desert tell me can you find monkeys in desert or places where there is no trees no right yes so they are adapted right right they have adapted themselves now just suppose just imagine right why monkeys live in for, live, live on trees right or why squirrel live on tree, trees because just think about it now right they have adapted themselves according to that right because of this uh, 
less space in trees, right? There are other animals who live on uh, the ground, right? So they have adapted themselves for the security region for the food, right? They have adapted themselves to stay on the trees, right? Okay, got it. Okay. So if I ask you, what are the adaptations of uh, monkeys? Tell me, what are the adaptations of monkeys? Tell me everyone, adaptation of monkeys. So see, that's not the adaptation, right? Adaptation, what changes in their body structure and everything that helps them to do that. Right? So they have grown long tails, right? Okay, they have sticky pads. Sorry, not sticky pads. They have a uh, wide hand and feet to grab the trees. <coughs> right? So I can say that, I can say that for monkeys, they have long tails for grasping branches, right? Just see this, right? Long, long tail for grasping branches, okay? Then they have wide hand and feet, okay? Right, they have wide hand and feet so that they can hold the branches easily. Okay, got it? Yes. Okay, so see, you have to remember about these animals, right? For example, the red-eyed frog had developed sticky pads on its feet to climb trees because this red-eyed frog live on the trees, okay? Instead of living in a pond, they live on trees, okay? So these are questions that can be asked, right? Then this token, right? So there's a bird called token, right? Which have long, large break, sorry, large beak, okay, right? Got it? Because they basically hold hands from the tree branches with the help of their teeth, this uh, trees. So this is the figure, this is the diagram of, not diagram, sorry, pick of red-eyed frog, and this is the pick of, obviously, you know, right? Your neighbors, right? You can just see them out of your window. Okay? Now, this is one more characteristic that you should remember, right? So, the characteristics, yes, right? So most of the trop tropical animals, right? Most of the tropical animals, right, have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, 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 thick skin, right? And skin color is generally dark, right, everyone? Skin color is generally dark. I have you observed that most of the tropical animals, most, I'm not so, so saying all, okay, have dark skin tone, because they can hide themselves, right? Behind trees, among trees, okay? It's not easy to identify them in forest, right? Right? So I can say that these are the adaptation, these are the adaptation, okay? Right, these are the adaptation for the tropical animals. You should write this point, okay? Right, you should write this point. This is, this is these are some important points, okay? Right, everyone? So see, this is the pick of token, right? And this is one kind of monkey, which is lion tail macaw. Okay? Okay, now obviously we will talk about lots of other animals so I hope all of you know about the other animals. Like if you ask what is the adaptation of uh, elephant, right? Or lion. I don't know that Sri Charan, right? We have to Google it. There are many birds which got extinct. Okay, there are many which got extinct, right? So we have to see this. And see in this, you have to study about, you have to not, so you have to remember the characteristic. Right, yes, characteristics of what? Polar bear, polar bear, right? You should write 
Okay, about polar bears, penguin, right? Then you might be asked about uh, this token, red eyed, red eyed frog, frog. Okay, lion tail macau. It's macau. It's very difficult to pronounce. Okay. Very good, Brenda. You have seen them in Darjeeling. Usually they are present, in, like they are found in Western Ghats, like from Mumbai to like uh, even the Karnataka and uh, this side, they are found in rainforest of Western Ghats. Okay. Right. So basically, when you talk about, see, you don't have to remember, just see, remember the pick, remember the pick and the name. Why they are, yeah, why they are called as lion tailed macau, right? Because they have fur like lions, right? They have this hairs like lion, right? On their face, right, everyone? So you can see that, right? Because of their silver white mane, like hairs, which surrounds the head from cheek, right? Like lion, okay? Now, what are the other characteristics? Characteristics, it is good, good climber, right? And like, see, this is the characteristic of almost all monkeys that live on, live on trees, right, everyone? Right? So these are things that you can just write generally, what they eat, they eat fruits, seeds, leaves, we have seen, right everyone? Usually all monkeys do that. So you'll, you'll be asked to write the characteristics of this lion tail macau. It's not macau, it's macau, right? Or beard. So from this point to this point, you can write, it might be asked from five marks, okay? Now these things you have to remember. Now elephants, How? who doesn't know about elephant? <laughs> Is there anyone who doesn't know about elephant? Is it? I don't know. Uh, so, should we hear how this sounds like? Wait, I'll just Google. Like trumpet, okay. Okay, let's see. I'll just share the computer screen. So a lion tail macaque is an old world monkey. Yes. They primarily live in southwestern India in the Western Gap Mountains. A long tail that they use for balance, but they're really smart like mandrels. And they're calm animals. They're in a social group, so we currently have one male and three females. This exhibit is great for them because it's so multi-leveled. They can go to the top the cliff out facing See, is, or they can come down to the ground and sit on the deadfall and go to the the boat, okay i'll just show some other animals So this is one nice documentary, which I'm just showing to you guys. Okay, I'll just send this documentary to you. Okay, everyone. So this is a documentary based on must be not blank very healthy share. for the hornbills, as well as other birds and animals. Yet, it is known as the strangler fig. 
background. A parasite. Okay? So this is a nice documentary on rainforest. So I'll just send you this. The only okay? occasional threat to what could be looked upon as a life in paradise is the binturong, also known as the Asian bear cat. Truder admits defeat. So you see the different kind of animals that live in rainforest. Okay, which baboons, monkeys, okay? The Assamese macaque usually prefers living at high altitudes. Macaque, it is called Normally as macaque. About 500 meters. They are different kind of macaque, right? This is Assamese macaque. Of 10 to 50 individuals. Their behavior consists of... So I'll just send this video, everyone, okay? Right? I'll just send this video. You can just watch this video about different animals. Okay? So I hope all of you understood, right, about different regions, right? What is different between, between climate and weather? Right, everyone? Okay? Okay, so we'll take eight minute break till then I'll just send the video, okay? After that, we'll discuss this exercise of this chapter, okay? If we can complete the exercise of this chapter, right? From NCRT, right? We'll discuss the exercise from NCRT. Then we'll discuss the exemplar of previous chapter, okay, everyone? Okay, so we will take a break of five, uh, seven minutes till 3.15. No, right, Dutch, my voice is not breaking. Okay, so yeah, we're talking about the climate. What's the definition of climate? So the average weather pattern, right, taken over a long time, okay, is called your climate, right? So the keyword that you should remember, average weather pattern, okay, right? Average weather pattern taken over a long period of time, right? over a place is called your climate, right? Now, we have different climatic zones, right? Different regions based on climate, which is temperate region, post-polar region, tropical region, subtropical region, okay? So the tropical and polar regions are two regions on Earth which have several climatic conditions, right? Okay, so these two regions have different climatical conditions, okay? So, it is severe, sorry, severe climatic condition. For example, the polar regions are very cold, right? Cold and dry. Whereas tropical region is hot and humid. Right? So they have extreme regions. Now animals adapt themselves depending on these climatic conditions. For example, polar regions very cold throughout the year, right? Sun does not set for six months. It is the pole, exact pole, right? Not true for all the regions, okay? Now, animal in polar region, right? They have adapted themselves to sustain the cold condition. How? They have fur, they have strong sense of smell. They have thick layer of fat under the screen, skin. They have wide and large paws for swimming and walking. So these are some characteristics, right? For example, polar bear, penguin, right? And then what is migration? Migration is basically, right, movement of birds and animals from cold and harsh condition to other favorable conditions, okay? Now, because of this, right, because of this large, yes, right? Okay, now, what is tropical region? Tropical region, region which is near to equator, right? It has lots of rain, Okay, that's why there's lots of plants and animals in tropical region. Right, everyone? Right? Because there's lots of rain, because of lots of rain, there's lots of plants, and because of lots of plants and forest, there are lots of animals. Okay? Right? Now, animals of tropical rainforest are adapted, right, so that they can eat different kind of foods. So they are vegetarian, non-vegetarian, like omnivorous, most of them. Right? They can eat on plants and all those things, right? For example, right, this uh, elephant, they generally eat leaves and all those things. But when you talk about polar bear, they generally live on, right? Fish, okay? 
right? And what are the some adaptations? So the adaptations are they have strong nail, they have strong hands, legs, long, long and large beaks for uh, birds. They have sharp patterns, loud voice. They generally eat fruits because of the fruits present in uh, a fountain tree, uh, this forest. Then they have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, eyesight, right? Thick skin. Okay, they can camouflage, right? Depending on the region. Okay, everyone, right? Okay, now let's let's think about the exercise. Okay, just message in the chat box. Everyone should message in the chat box. Then after this, we will play Kahoot. Yes, geographical locations. Very good, Ramin. The first one. Name the elements that determine the weather of a place. We have just discussed this. Tell me. First one. Yes. Very good, Daksh. Right? Yes. Temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed. Right? These four you should write. Temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed. Second. When are the maximum and minimum temperature likely to occur during the day? Tell me. Maximum temperature during? We just discussed, everyone. Yes, maximum in afternoon, minimum in early morning. You should write early morning, right? Got it. Yes, very good, right? The third, fill the blanks. The average weather taken over a long time is called, tell me what it is called, climate. Yes, very good, Ragini. Very good, everyone. So if you ask, if someone asks, what is the definition of climate? You can just write like this. The average weather taken over a long interval of time, long time is called climate. Second, a place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is high throughout the year. The climate of that place will be dash and dash. We have studied this in, yes, hot and dry. Very good. Example, example of such region, deserts, right? Deserts, very good. Desert, okay? Desert, yes, Rajasthan. Third, the two regions of Earth with extreme climatic condition are polar and tropical. Very good. Very good, Mansa. Polar and tropical region. Very good, Ragni. Very good, Purvi. Very good, Daksh. Very good, Esther. Very good, Aditya. Right? Very good, everyone. Very good, Tavishka, Sri Charan. Right? All of you got the concept. Now, tell me which of these regions falls into this. Jammu and Kashmir. What is the climatic condition? Jammu and Kashmir, cold and dry, cold and dry. Okay, Jammu and Kashmir, cold and dry. Kerala, hot and humid, yes, hot and humid. Hot and wet or hot and humid, right? Rajasthan, hot and dry, yes, hot and dry, very good, right? Northeast India, Northeast India, cold and wet, right? Cold and wet, okay? Very good, right? Now, fifth one, which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? Tell me, which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? Weather, yes, weather changes frequently, very good, right? Now, sixth one, right? Now, tell me, diets heavy on fruits. Characteristics of animals, tell me, right? So, you have to, you have to tell which is the characteristics of tropical animal and which is the characteristics of polar animals. Diet heavy on food, fruits, tell me, tropical or polar? Tropical, very good. Tropical, just this tropical. Need to migrate. Need to migrate? Polar, yes, need to migrate? Polar, I'll just write it down, TNP, okay? Tropical, polar, sticky pads on feet, sticky pads on feet. Tropical rainforest, yes, wide and large power. Wide and large powers? Polar, polar, right? Polar. Okay, so that they don't like uh, sink in ice now, right? Polar, very good. Strong tails, 
Yes, very good. Tropical, right? Monkeys. Okay. Tropical, very good. Then white fur. Polar, very good. Loud, loud voice. Tropical, very good. Layer of fat under skin. Yes, polar. Bright colors. Tropical, long and large beak. Tropical, okay. Got it, everyone? Anyone have any doubt? Tell me. We will take out, Arav, don't worry. We'll take out after finishing this, an example, right? Then seventh one. The tropical rainforest has large population of animals. Explain why is it so? Tell me why. We have discussed this, right? Why? Tell me everyone why? Why tropical rainforest have lots of plants, uh, this uh, population of animals? Tell me. Yes, right, very good, yes. Because, yes, because the tropical rainforests have lots of trees and fruits, right? Okay, right? Which provide food and shelter, which provide food and shelter for many animals, right? That's why we have large population of animals, right, everyone? Okay. Okay, then explain with examples why we find animals of certain kind living in cl particular climatic conditions, right? So if, if you have to answer this in one word, right? Guys, message to co-host, I don't know, something happened. Something happened, so I'm not getting any messages here. Okay, message to co-host. Yes, very good. Very good. Yes, Ragini, adaptation, because of adaptation, right? Yes because they have adapted to that particular area. Very good. Now, ninth one. How do elephants living in tropical rainforest adapt themselves? So just tell about elephants. I hope everyone know elephant. Large ears, long tusk, right? Got it? Yes? Yes. Right, just write about elephants. Yes, strong sense of smell. Right, very good, very good, Purvi. Okay, now, 10th one. A carnivorous with stripes on its body move very fast while catching its prey. It is likely to be found in, tell me. Polar regions, deserts, oceans, tropical rainforest. Obviously it is talking about lions and cheetahs, right? So tropical rainforest, very good. Now 11th one. Which feature adapts polar bear to live in extreme cold conditions? White fur, fat below skin, keen sense of smell, thick. Okay, it's very easy, tell me. First, very good, right? First, first, na. Polar bear don't have gills, right? Polar bear don't have gills. And they don't have long tail. They don't have thin skin, right? The answer is first one. Okay, everyone, the answer is first one. Now question number 12, which option best describes the tropical region? Hot and humid, moderate temperature, heavy rainfall, cold and humid, hot and dry, first one. Yes, very good, hot and humid, very good, right? Okay, so this is just normal exercise for you guys, okay? I don't know, something happened. What happened? Okay, we will play Kahoot now. Okay, everyone, we'll play Kahoot.
Okay, so this is next chapter. Okay, sorry, this is next chapter. This chapter. So we studied this, we studied second one, we studied third one, polar region. We start, we did this third one, polar regions. Yes or no? Tell me. How many cows did we play last in last class? Message to co-host. Everyone, message to co-host. Three, na? Huh? Okay. So, poor region we haven't played, I guess. So, everyone, please join. So the code is one eight nine six six six. Everyone, please join. And message to co-host, not message to host, message to co-host. Okay, so 19 students have joined. We will start now, everyone. And message to co host, everyone. Message to co host. Something happened to my laptop, so I can't see the charts of host. I don't know who is AH. Okay, let's start. Which of the following increases the yeah air's ability to hold water vapor? Tell me. Yes, increase in temperature. Now we just discussed, right? I just told you, right? If temperature is more, then water vapor will be formed, evaporation will be more, right? You have to type the answer in this. We have done this, I guess. Anyways, it's revision.
10 seconds left everyone. It is climate? No, I just climate, right? Next. Which described desert climate? Tell me. Hot and dry, nah, right? It's not dry and humid, but hot and humid. Humid means rain, okay? Hot and dry. Very good, Esther. Top. In the second. Let's see if it continues. Maximum minimum thermometer helps in finding the amount of rainfall in specific place. We have done this count already. Let's see. Still people are making mistakes, right? Polar regions are habitat habitable for Yes, Paul Russ. Last question. Everyone should be correct in this. Yes, yes. Yes, Devika. Very good, right? Polar? No, it's polar, right? Okay, let's see the podium. Akshit, third, very good, Akshit. Second, Aditya, very good, Aditya. Who is the first? Ragini, very good. Run it up. Esther and Harsh, very good, Esther, very good, Harsh. Right? Let's see. Polar we have studied. Penguins, right? Let's see penguins. Not, we can't see penguins. Let's see the quiz on penguins. Guys, the code is 505275. 505275. Please join soon.
Okay, very good. I'll start. Yes, it is Antarctica. Very good. Tell me which one? Smell, strength, sight, humor. Very easy question. Yes, it smell, right? It smell. Who is playing humor here? Penguins have dash feet, right? Which helps us swim to water. Tell me, flat, sharp, thick, webbed. We studied this. Yes, very good. Webbed feet, right? The dashed skin of penguins help them to survive in water. Tell me, thin, thick, both of these, none of these. Very easy. Tell me everyone, thick, yes, thick, right? How it can be both thick and thin? It's double points. I'm audible, every, I'm audible. Dutch, I'm audible. No, no, Mansa, this is not last Rahul. Tell me what's the answer? Yes, it's cool. No, it's cool, right? Cool. Let's see the podium. Who is third place? Brinda. Very good, Brinda. Second place? Akshit. Very good, Akshit. First place, who is first place? Tavishka. Very good, Tavishka. Who is fourth and fifth? Fourth Shabya, fifth Esther. Very good Shabya, very good Esther. Esther and Akshat are top five, second time. Right, next. Tropical Zoom. Guys, join soon. The code is 720 Good. P 
Three students haven't joined yet. Aro? Amisha? Not joined? So now Aro and Amisha haven't joined yet. Please join Aro and Amisha. We will start now. Arav and Amisha, please join between. If you can't join, please message in the chat box. Message to co-host. Okay, Amisha. Tropical areas have dash climate. Tell me. Easy. Yes, very good. Hot and humid. Very good, everyone. This is a double point, okay? So, tropical region is present near equator and north pole. Falls, right? It is present near equator only. The length of day and night is almost now. This is one random question. Okay, it might have different answers. Just give your answer, no issues. Let's see the answer. Equal and same. But most of the answers were correct. Okay, as I said, it is a random question. True or false? Again, this is also of double marks. Rainforests are not found in tropical zone. True or false? Very easy, very easy. False. Who said true? It's false, no? Last question. The animals in tropical zone compete for food as the population is low. True or false? This is also easy. We have studied this. Let's see who is paying attention in the class. Very good. 19 answers within 10 seconds. What about other three students? Yes, Mansa, what happened? False, no, they, their population is high, right? Their population is high. The first statement is correct. Second statement, the population is high. Okay. Let's see the scoreboard. Third place, Aditya. Aditya continuing third place. Shravya second place. Very good. First place. Let's see who's the first place. Madhur, I guess. Ragini. Wow. Score changed in last exam. Runner up. Tavishka and Madhur. Very good, everyone. Right. Very good. Now, next Kahoot. Code is 
Everyone, please join. Try to join this. Amisha, try to join. Very good. Rishika joined. Nandesh Ravya, who didn't join this time? Let's start. Okay, many tropical animals blend their skin color with surrounding. This feature is called camouflage, right? Acetivation, blending, hibernating. Easy, very easy. Yes, camouflage, right? Very good. Second. Which one is the adaptive feature of penguin? Right? Thick layer of fur, strong sense of smell. Thick skin, long hair and black body part. Streamlined body, thick skin and white body part. Streamlined body, thick layer of fat is present in the skin. Tell me, anyone? Yes, very good, very good. Now, those who corrected second one, green one is also correct, okay? Green one is also correct. So, so it is thick layer of fat, guys. It is thick layer of fat, okay? Right? But thick skin, no? But in uh, subjective test, both would be correct, okay? The instrument used to measure rain is called? Tell me, we have studied this. See this funnel shaped with markings? Yes, very good. Rain cause, right? Barometer is used to measure pressure. Right? All the changing weather is caused, caused by? Simple answer. Tell me. Yes, sun, right? It is sun now. Sun. Yes, the answer was figure only Tanna. Very good. And tell me, what should be the temperature here? Polar regions, temperature. Yes, it is minus 37 degrees centigrade, right? But in subjective, you can get both answers. Don't worry. Which of the following best describes tropical region? Hot, humid, moderate, and heavy rainfall. Tell me, cold, humid, hot, and dry. Easy. Yes, moderate temperature and heavy rainfall. See, this is the best option, right? You have to choose the best option in subjective. Okay, red one is also correct when you talk about subjective, but when you talk about multiple choice, you have to choose the best option, okay? Humidity is the measure of water vapor, true or false? True, oh, very good, very fast. You have type the animal having sticky pattern on its feet. 
<laughs> what can i say about this no one should get it wrong okay no one should get it wrong yes red eyed frog right so the red eyed frog is also correct so those who mark the red eyed frog it's also right but it's just red eyed frog okay which of the following does not easy easy this, this is super easy tell me super easy yes camel who answers reindeer are you forgotten santa reindeer most of the one of the most common migratory bird which comes to easy tell me we have studied this yes too very good everyone i right, so let's see the podium Daksh third very good Daksh second Purvi very good Purvi let's choose the first one first position goes to Ragini very good Ragini runner ups Trishan and Tanmay very good everyone right so I hope everyone got the concept tell me message to co host right very good everyone okay. so we will have a, another class on saturday okay on saturday we will complete yes very good right easy see science is easy right everyone science is easy okay no in next class we will we will study next chapter which is cyclone and wind it is very easy okay you want to play one more kahoot tell me you want to play one more kahoot There's one more kahoot. Okay, so it's it's fine. It's repetitive only. So we will end the class now. Sadly, I cannot end the class now. <laughs> okay, so please, guys, you have to leave. I I'll think of a way to end the class. Okay. that's fine it, it's already time right so next class will start uh, this next chapter okay something happened everyone so i don't know why i cannot in the class or do anything okay bye everyone take care i'll upload it in the google classroom you can just solve we will discuss okay we will discuss everything on monday after this class i don't know why i cannot in this class okay bye everyone bye, -bye.